Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today it is Friday and that means I am doing a full face Friday using a bunch of my favorite products. I have been doing a little bit of shopping my stash lately. I've got a couple new items in here as well, but basically I decided to go ahead, put on a smoky eye today, as well as using a little bit of a bougie lipstick. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we are gonna put makeup on this face. I pulled out some favorites full face Friday. We are going to start with the Sublimage La Tante and I am in the shade 32 and you guys this is one of my faves. This one just makes your skin look good and it actually has a bit more coverage than you expect from a tinted moisturizer. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. It has kind of a nice moussey texture and it does come with its own little brush, but mine is not clean at the moment. And to be honest, I usually just sort of put this on with my fingertips and then take any excess off with a sponge. So that is just me. The brush is truly lovely and I will use that on camera at another time. But you guys, this one just makes your skin look really healthy and nice. I just take the end of my sponge, which is damp, and I just kind of press this into the skin. Now, the thing that I love about this sublimage tint is that your skin is actually going to look better at the end of the day. So this is basically a tinted moisturizer um, in it is the tint of the sublimage cream. So I do not use Chanel skincare, but I do uh, know that sublimage is a favorite cream. And yes, this does have a little bit of scent. It is not the traditional scent, but it definitely has a scent to it. So a little less intense and it doesn't, this one does not seem to bother my skin which is surprising. Okay guys, here is that Chanel Sublimage. Love this one. I've been pulling out a few of my oldies but goodies and really enjoy that. So I'm gonna be wearing that more often. And again, it's just hydrating to the skin. I find that by the end of the day, my skin looks even better than it is right now. So that's one that I really enjoy and it's comfortable. It isn't irritating to my skin whatsoever. And it's got a little bit of coverage in it for a tinted kind of moisturizer. I really kind of like that. Okay, I am then going to use my Chanel La Beige and I'm going to use the cream and I just kind of like to use this to warm up my skin and we're just going to dab that on. nice little healthy glow. We'll probably add on a little more bronzer, but I like to start with that base and then later on if we want to be extra bronzy, we can do that. Now I decided to pull out my Victoria Beckham little palette and this is in Tuxedo. This is such a gorgeous little palette. I am definitely kind of shopping my stash today. I do have a few new things coming. Um, so we'll have a new video with newbies, but really been just trying to use all the goodies that I already own. And I am going to start with this cream kind of oyster base. So let's see. I'm going to start with this shade right here. This is Blanc. And we are just going to place that a little bit all over the lid just as a base. And we're going to go in with this lighter gray and this is in rain 
and we're going to start to just kind of build a little bit of a smokier eye. This is just such a pretty little quad. And I love those kind of gray tones. I'm going to go into this Fume shade here, deeper sort of gray, and we're just going to build a little bit on the outer V here. I don't want this to be a super dark eye look, but I do love a little bit of a classy, classic kind of smoky eye. And so I'm just going to take a little bit of this and we're going to blend everything out, so don't worry. Build a little bit more of a crease. I'm just taking this, and again, just very lightly intensifying that crease area. Blending any harsh edges and don't worry, once we put mascara and eyeliner and stuff, this all comes together. So if it looks a little bit dark at the moment, I promise it'll all come together. Then we're going to go in with that dark noir shade. I have my refer number three, which is my favorite sort of pencil kind of pro. And I'm going to kind of start to smoke a little bit of that near the lash line. And just a little. Towards the end, I'm trying to bring that just slightly up in the corner because my eyes tend to go downward. So I am just going to going to take whatever's left on this on this brush and I'm just going to come underneath the lash line. Then I'm going to take the Victoria Beckham and this is in her black. This is the Kajal eyeliner and these are super soft they're fabulous but a little goes a long way so i'm carefully gonna come kind of in between each lash over here just kind of going right between the lash line taking that pencil pro And I'm just smudging. Now I purposely didn't do my concealer yet because I'm going to do that afterwards to kind of brighten up. But, but this is basically my smoky eye. Once I put on mascara, it will ground everything. So I am going to go put on mascara, clean up my brows with this benefit. Precisely my brow. Yes, my daughter's home, so she'll do that part for me, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we have brows on. We've got smoky eye going on. Then I like to use my concealer because sometimes when you're doing that smoky kind of eye look, a little bit of that darkness can fall where you don't want it. And then I like to use a brightener, so I'm going to be using the Sicily Lumiere. This is in Rose Pearl, and this is just fabulous. It's going to be hydrating and brightening. And I will just do a little bit of that up here as well. This is fantastic. I've been pulling this out more lately and I like to get right in at that dark circle. Then I'm going to use my ring fingers and we're going to pat that in. So I'll start by patting and then I'll slowly bring it over towards 
more wrinkle area. But I like to first kind of pat down that little V and then up. Is that a Trish McAvoy? I think that was Trish, that tip. And just kind of brighten that up. Then I'm going to use one of the Le Beige, one of these healthy glow sticks. And this is in number 23. And this is just going to be a beautiful little flush of color. Then we'll powder down after that. So I like to put all cream products on first. And then I just like to do, this one's just such a fun kind of healthy little pink coral color. And I'll just kind of pat that on and then blend it out. These are sheer in formulation, so you can kind of go ahead. Don't be scared because you'll buff it out. It's got a nice thin consistency to it. Just use the bottom of this, and I'm just going to kind of push that into the skin. Going to use the Chanel Balm Essential, and this one again is in that sculpting and super sort of natural looking kind of highlighter. I'm going to just put that on the tops of my cheekbones here. Then I just like to use the warmth of my fingers, and I'm going to push that just there, starting to give myself just a little healthy glow. Then we're going to go ahead and set everything. I'm going to be using my Sicily Loose Powder. And this is just one of my favorites, loose powders. I'm just going to take this Wayne Goss. This has become my new little favorite powder brush. And I'm just going to set everything. Not super heavy on that. I want to keep that glow going. Okay, then I like to finish off with my Sicily bronzer all over the face. I'm taking the La Mer brush and we're just going to give it a nice little swirl. And this just sort of sets everything and gives you a nice little glow all over. Then we are going to use my bougie lipstick here. This is Christian Louboutin and I had a request. I'm hoping Mrs. Ange is watching this. She swears by this formula and this one is in Belly Blossom. So here is the Christian Louboutin packaging and I always think it's funny because no, I'm not going to be wearing this as a necklace but I could if I wanted to. Very cute. And, and this is in the shade Belly Blossom. Just a really kind of nice pink nude. Shade. I do have to say this formula is fantastic. It is satin and so it's just gonna kind of also stain my lips. This is just sort of a fun little treat. <laughs> One of my favorite blogs is the Beauty Lookbook and Sabrina on there just does the most beautiful pictures. And honestly, after looking, after reading her reviews on these Christian Louboutin and having, and having Mrs. Ange tell me I've got to try this, we had to pick one up for review purposes. So, so far really enjoying this color. Formulation is great. Very pretty packaging. And then I thought what we would do is finish off with the Air Flash. This is the primer and setting spray. Now this is a favorite of Michelle Wong's and I had a request from someone wanting me to try out the Air Flash. So that is on its way, but I thought if we're gonna do that, we might as well get the primer and setting spray as well. This has shown up first, so let's go ahead 
and we'll do a little bit of this setting spray today and see what we think. Hopefully I did it right. Don't worry, we're playing for the first time. But so far I like the little glow that it is giving my skin. It does have fragrance in it, so I am smelling a little bit of kind of Christian Dior perfume. Nothing terrible. I'll let you know if it affects my skin and makes it a little bit fussy. Okay guys, this is the final look using a bunch of my favorites. I hope you guys have a fantastic start to the weekend and I will be back with another video soon.